All right, boys, let's get into another trade recap day. Um, this trade is not yet uh, complete. We hit one take profit, but hopefully we can take hit take profit two and fully end out my day. I took one loss already and partial win on this trade so far. I think that uh, we should be able to continue up and hit this, hopefully, because um, for whatever reason, I didn't get uh, executed out of my position at this price point, so... Whatever, we will see. Um, let's start off with the loss, though. So starting off, if you guys tapped into the kick stream, which I encourage you guys to do, um, the overall bias initially was bearish because we had four-hour time frame bearish. Um, hourly time frame was bearish. Okay, and we saw during pre-market, we came up, we swept out these highs, we broke structure to the downside, we see price going lower. Okay, for me... In the kick stream, I mentioned, I said, hey, this fair value gap, huge. Um, ideally, I would like to take shorts off of it if it gets respected. And if it comes into, um, you know, like a solid, solid, um, like gives us a solid setup. And I fucked up. Okay. Uh, I went against my trading plan today, which, again, uh, you know, mentors do this shit too, man. Uh, we get overconfident with ourselves. I think it's just because I, I lost a trade on, on Friday. I, uh, and I lost a trade yesterday. No trade on Monday because of the bank holiday. But uh, I just wanted to get this one. I thought I was pretty confident in this. And then obviously, you know, go against your trading plan and what's going to happen. You're going to get stopped out. So um, that's exactly what happened here. Market opened. We got a big leg up. We swept out these five-minute highs or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We swept out these five-minute highs and started filling in this 15-minute fair value gap. And I'm like, oh, baby. It's looking juicy. Okay. And the first way that I went against my plan was I traded before 950. Okay. And as we saw, if I just waited for 950, this trade wouldn't have even been in existence. And also something that I went against was the fact that I didn't even wait for a one-minute break of structure to the downside. So... We had all these bearish confluences except for a break of structure on literally the lowest time frame and all the other time frames were saying bullish and I just wanted this one a little bit too bad and got really over ambitious with it. So we can see here that we filled in that 15 minute fair value gap and I'm thinking, wow, we had that big ass wick. Um, you can't see it here. We had this big ass wick. We hit into this order block too, right? The sweep break of structure. We hit into this order block. We filled this fair value gap. And then price comes in here and I see I see this first and I'm like, oh, no break of structure. We just got wicks. And I see this and I'm like, oh, no break of structure. We just got wicks. But then I'm like, oh, bullish fair value gap. If we get an inverse, if we, uh, if we invalidate that, then we should be good to fucking go. We see it get invalidated, so I enter off of that, breaking two of my rules. Not not waiting for break of structure and not waiting for 950. And then obviously, in turn, I get stopped out because of it. I enter off that, stops above here. Um, I had a couple take profits. First one was based off these highs right here. Second one was based off these lows. And then third one was based off of high time frame draw and liquidity, which is all the way down here. And instead, price just decided to leg higher. And then, because of that leg higher, that that's what influenced my next winning my next winning trade, which was on ES. So, let me get rid of all of the stupid Dumbo confluences that I had for the short trade. And then we can get in here. So, after all that happens, I see two things. Okay, I see Nasdaq disrespect this fair value gap and seek out these highs within the same candle, okay? We, we close above this fair value gap and we hit these highs. And on ES, at that same time, we were still playing within this fair value gap and we were nowhere near these highs, okay? Also, we created bullish SMT divergence. We created a lower low here on ES while creating a significant higher low here on NQ. So I'm thinking, okay, we made a lower low on ES. We made a higher low on NQ. I just got stopped out of that short trade and we just disrespected this 15 minute fair value gap that ES is playing in right now. Odds are ES is going to disrespect it again. If you guys haven't seen the video that I made on SMT Divergence, go watch it because um, it, it 
literally shows like why I took this trade, right? Uh, on NQ, NQ pretty much tells us the future saying, hey, we created a higher low here on the five minute time frame, as well as us disrespecting this inverse for value, or as well as us disrespecting this bearish for value gap here, ES is probably going to do the exact same thing because we made a lower low on ES and we're playing within this fair value gap right now and NQ ended up seeking out these relative equal highs, ES will probably do the same. And speaking of, it looks like I'm going to get stopped out with the remaining of my position at, yep, there you go. Stopped out of the remaining position at break even um, on this ES trade. So ended up a uh, losing day, uh, not as big of a loss as... Um, should have happened. It sucks that this order didn't go through, but it is what it is. Uh, three losing days in a row, not necessarily what you want to see. But again, that's why I make these videos because I'm confident enough in my trading ability to be able to show you guys fucking losses. Okay. Um, but anyways, getting back into it, we had SMT divergence. NQ already disrespected this fair value gap and had already sought out these highs. So from there, also, this wasn't even the best trade. Okay. But from there, I was really just looking for bullish confluence, okay? Because we were, we had the SMT divergence. So I was waiting for a break of structure to the upside on the one minute. We have these highs, wicks, nothing, okay? Now we have these highs, not even touched. Now we have these highs, not even touched. Now we have these highs, wicks. Now we have these highs, wicks. Now we have these highs, and we see, boom, liquidation candle to the downside, sweeping out lows, lows, filling in the 50% mark of this five-minute fair value gap right here, as well as coming into this bullish order block, pretty much to the T. Okay. Or it was like slightly lower, but it literally hit that exact price. And then after that, you're probably thinking, oh, you entered off this doji? No, I, I was too scared. Because, I, again, we were, we were still playing within that 15-minute uh, fair value gap. I wanted more confluence after not taking nearly enough confluence on NQ. And I wanted at least a one-minute break of structure to the upside, which I waited for. We got that on this candle. I was able to enter on this on this down candle moving down, luckily, okay? So I got a good entry off that. Okay, and then from there, I could have had my stop loss a little bit higher because this was just an expansion candle, but, you know, again, I wanted to play it safe. Put my stops underneath this, uh, this uh, bearish for value gap that we disrespected, okay? And man, it sucks if, we, if I got stopped out of break even and, and we hit the point where I would have gotten... Um, full break even day instead of a loss but it is what it is again um but anyways i was able to enter off this little down candle right here i had all the confluences we had the break of structure to the upside invalidated two bearish fair value gaps we filled in a bullish fair value gap we had smt divergence whole bunch of bullish confluences as well with these uh with this relative equal highs as draws on liquidity okay and then from there price just Quickly, swiftly moved up, hit my first take profit. I took half of my position off, moved the other half to break even, and the other half got just got stopped out at break even. So again, another losing trade for me. Uh, today we're own two, okay, or I guess one for two. Uh, but overall, if we're just talking about days, um, own oh two on days, but one and two for trades um, on this week. Uh, so hopefully we can get some better trade entries uh that is the goal i've been putting a, in a lot more chart time as of recently especially because we've been working with mastermind 3.0 i think it's uh it's only it's only right for me to do charge complete damn sorry y'all just got jump scared with that but uh it's only it's only right for me to do my due diligence as a mentor to continue getting better as a trade to continue getting better as a trader along with a teacher so that I can teach you guys better on trading transformation, on trade recaps, and then as well as teaching the mastermind students. So again, this is a continuous game of learning how we can be better traders and how we can, uh, how we can predict price at a more efficient rate. So with that being said, that pretty much covers the two trades that I took for today. I appreciate you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Oh shit, I just realized we had kick chat here the entire time.